everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and tonight I am making an anniversary card. Now this is something different than what I've ever made before um, and I'm kind of excited about the way that it's turning out. Um, so let me show, start by showing you what I use. Now I have the Tim Holtz Distress Pad in the 12 by 12. This is the, um, I believe it's craft core but I'm not sure but it's from the distress collection and I'm using this blue which kind of reminds me of the faded jeans color and so I'm using that I have this white lace that I had picked up on the clearance bin I believe I picked it up at my Joann's this is the piece that I'm using here let's see if we can see it up better there but I'm not using it plain white but we'll get back to that in a minute I'm also using as my card base I'm using craft um, from paper tray ink and then I have these um, doilies. I picked them up at the Allen the Thistle, um, and I believe it was an Etsy store. And I, these are just real fun doilies. They were pretty inexpensive. And so I picked up a package of those, and I'm using those. And then I'm using my Cuddlebug Bloom Dots. I'm using from Tim Holtz from the Heartfelt um, stamp set from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. I am just using this heart right here. Um, from K. Andrew Designs and All in the Family, I am using this set and the stamps that I'm going to be using from it is this one that says Happy and this one that says Anniversary. And then I have my Tim Holtz journaling tags. These are just regular journaling tags. I'm using a tag from here and then these are the adage tickets and I'm using a couple of tickets from there. I'm also using my hand stamp design stamp and I'm going to have to leave this out because you know I make all those cards and then I forget to stamp them. And then I'm also using this shimmery um, paint, shimmers paint spritz spray and I believe that the color is this chickadee here and I'm using that. And then my other three inks that I'm using are my distress ink in faded jeans, in walnut stain, and a black soot. And so let's get started. Oh, one other thing is I'm using this philosophy tag that says find and I've already attached a jump ring to it. So let's get started and get our project going. So the first thing that I've already done is I've already um, cut my card base. It's going to be a standard A2 size card and I've distressed around it using my um, distress tool. I've already scored it. Um, and so let's go ahead and fold it. Now this this is um, paper tray ink and it's very heavy and so you definitely, any cardstock that's this heavy, which I love for my bases, but if you're using anything this heavy you definitely want to pre-score um, it, otherwise it'll crack and break. Now I'm going to just open it back up and then we're going to finish the inside. So the first thing I want to do to finish the inside, and I'm going to go very, very simply with finishing the inside, is I just want to use my um, Faded Jeans Distress Ink, and I'm just going to go around the edges. That is the very first step that I'm doing here. Very simple step. If you've not done this before, I'm just using my Distress Tool, um, I mean my ink inking tool, I'm sorry, with the foam inkers. However, you could just use a makeup wedge or a sponge of some sort. I have makeup wedges that I used before I did this, um, before I had this tool. Now I'm also distressing right down the center because I want a little bit of distress around where the, um, where the line will, where it will close so that when it's closed, you it'll look like this whole side's distressed and that whole side's distressed. I think I'm going to go ahead and go around just the this card as well, just on both sides. I just want to get the outside just to add that nice little bit of extra oh, dimension to my card. And also, just like I did on the front, on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly distress the edges there. Kind of looks funny like this, but in the inside, once you get to the inside, or once it's closed, it won't look funny at all. Um, let's go ahead 
and this is going to be the front of our card. So before I do anything else, so I don't forget like I normally do, using my black soot, I am just going to just do my hand stamp on the back so that then I can go back and sign it. Now I could use my faded jeans here, but in this case I'll just use my black soot. Um, sorry about that. So let's clean that off and we'll set that aside and then I'll just sign it later. I've already done my other stamping um, and so I'm not going to do, I'm just setting that aside. Now I want to just kind of knock off some of that extra distress since it was distressed when I did when I added the ink it just kind of left some of the little pieces behind. Now for the inside the other thing that I'm going to do just to finish it off is this is where I'm using these adage tags and these say trust and love which is two important things that a marriage needs to be based on. Now I want to tell you what I did. If you open up the these tags you can see the difference in how these look. I really distressed them more and how I did that is I lightly distressed around the edges with my walnut stain and then I pulled that faded jeans into the middle and really made it kind of stand out and I'm just going to attach those right on the inside just kind of at an angle here maybe I'll just kind of go this way or I could put them maybe I'll put them up here and then leave plenty of room for my message you know I think I like them. Maybe I'll do it like this. And then I can have plenty of room for my message there to the person who's receiving the card. And I don't want any bulk on the inside. Um, this card's actually going to be quite bulky. And I don't want to add to that on the inside um, because I don't want it to be too bulky. Okay, so that's all I'm doing to the inside, just very simple there. Okay, and now we're just going to set this aside. So the next step, I've already taken my bloom dots and um, embossed this. And now I want to take my sanding tool and I'm just going to lightly sand over that. And that's really what this cardstock is meant to do. It's meant to be torn and sanded. And as you can see, it's not really craft coming through. And I don't want a heavy sand, I just want a light sand. And I think I'm also going to just set that aside. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and distress this a little bit on the outside too. It's just too clean for the rest of the card. Now, I kind of ripped it there, which will be fine. It's not going to take away from it. But that is something to think about remember because I, I distressed it and sanded it so that's kind of weakened the paper a little bit but also the embossing weakened the paper too so I have to be real careful when I'm going through and distressing and and I don't want to be too rough and rip my paper up a lot this is kind of a shabby chic um, card and the reason I chose this blue is I ran across the person that I'm giving it to um, oh I can't remember how long we've been married probably five or six years and I ran across some stuff that I had saved from their wedding and it was their wedding colors were blue and yellow and so that's why I chose it made me think of this this color scheme so I'm just cleaning off my craft mat here because I don't want all that sanding stuff to be on the side and so now we're going to get to the rest of our card now what I did is I took this my shimmer paint and I took one of the doilies and I cut it, I spritzed it with my paint and then I dried it. And it's kind of, so there's this kind of underlying um, sparkle coming through. It's very faint and it's very subtle. It was more noticeable before I distressed it, but because the rest of my cards distressed, it looked very funny to me um, to have that bright yellow, even though it's not a total sunshine yellow it was kind of a, a lighter yellow but it was just too bright and cheerful for this more distressed shabby type card so what I did is I um, cut it in half and then I distressed it lightly with the frayed burlap and then I took the faded jeans and this is where I used that heart from the heartfelt stamp and I just stamped it right in the center. So what I'm going to do with that is it's going to actually be placed right here. 
kind of at the top of the card and I don't want it to be raised or anything it's just going to go flat down on the card and just kind of I thought about sticking the ticket behind it um, but I decided it didn't look right behind it because well I'll show you in a second so that's the first step to my card now the next thing remember I told you that I used that white ribbon but it was too white for me because this is too shabby of a card for that so what I did is I took my walnut stain again and my inking tool and I ran it over that white ribbon and it kind of just aged it a little bit and that's actually going to go there I'm not going to put it there yet though and then I took my other tag and like I did let me show you remember on the inside tags how bright they were these weren't quite as bright these were quite a bit more distressed but not quite enough to I needed to pull all the colors together so what I did is also I went around it again with the walnut stain which is really kind of the color that was already there but I wanted just a little bit more and then I pulled some of that faded jeans inside and then this is where I stamped my happy anniversary and I used the black soot and it, to me it looks like it was almost just supposed to be there and not even supposed to ever it, it just looks like it was made for that tag so I'm going to put my tag right about here and I don't I thought about popping it up on foam dots but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just going to let the bulk be at the bottom of the card so let's just kind of go off the side here and then before I go any further I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the bottom of the card base and I really I like the three girl jam ribbon and that's I had pulled it for this project but the yellow just wasn't quite the right yellow for for the spritz that I had and so I decided not to go ahead and use the three girl jam that's why I went ahead and found something for the lace now I think what I'm going to do normally I would center this so I had a margin all the way around that would be equal but I think I'm going to put because it's distressed it kind of takes away a little bit from the room that I have so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it all the way up against the fold and then I have a little bit more margin on the side here and then I have plenty of margin top to bottom there just like that and then this is where we're going to put our this is the adage ticket that I put the jump ring in I am going to adhere or kind of run that through one of the holes in the lace on the back side and I'm just I don't know how well you can see this on camera but I'm just going to keep twisting just like you would any other kind of jump ring just keep twisting and twisting and twisting when I do this with my key ring oh I do that too I usually end up making making it so you can't see it all there we go and that is just going to go right here I kind of this find I felt like I was using um, I, it's hard for me to use the right phrase for the philosophy but I thought the find was kind of fitting because then if you kind of tie in the inside it says find and then it says um, trust and love and those are two important parts of a marriage so I thought oh, that kind of ties in so now the next step that I want to do and I forgot to get glue out um, but I think I'm going to use a glue dot and I'm going to use a rather heavy glue dot I may go back and end up using some quick dry or something although I have found that these glue dots actually do hold quite well once they've had time to sit up you have a few minutes to really kind of play with it and get it where you want but they actually once they've been on the card for a while they do hold quite strongly so I'm going to just put that there and I could just let that thing I think I will just let that dangle I was thinking about putting another glue dot behind that so that it wouldn't dangle but I think it's going to be okay dangling there and I think the last thing I want to do I think I'm going to trim up my bow a little bit I hadn't really 
planned on using a bow. I had actually planned on running the lace across the bottom of the card and when I tied the bow and it looked cute I thought I better leave it. You know how much I struggle with tying bows so I thought I would leave it. So there we go we have happy anniversary and then trust and love on the inside and room for my message. So thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this kind of shabby chic kind of fun card no cricket. Um, so thanks for watching and come back um, for another project. Have a great day.